One of my favorite implementations of AI in the last year or two has been these AI note-taking apps. And because I'm a total nerd, I wanted to figure out which one is actually the best. So I threw six of them into the same Zoom call at the same time to have a little head-to-head -head competition. We've got Otter, Fathom, Fireflies, Nada or Noda, I'm not sure how to say it, plus Rewatch and Bubbles. Now, before you dive into this rabbit hole with me, I just want to establish what exactly it is that I use AI note-taking for because I do several group Zoom calls a month with my membership, Thriving Creators Society. I also do one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls with my one-on-one -on -one clients. But one of my favorite kind of secret weapon ways to use AI note-taking tools is just for my own brainstorming session. But I also need my AI note-takers to be shareable so I can share Share them, you know, with my team or, you know, with my clients that I'm on a one-on-one -on -one call with so that they're not having to feverishly take notes while we're talking and the AI note taker is doing it for them. So we're not just talking about transcriptions like with Rev or Trint or Descript, although Descript does have a built-in chatbot now that you can ask it questions about the transcript that is actually pretty cool, but it's not quite the same as an AI note-taking app. This is me and my community manager, Karen, having a um, kind of a random, just for fun kind of conversation, just so that we could test out these chat bots. We did kind of make up a few stories so that we had something um, to kind of test the AI with. Are you writing this down? Yeah, I probably don't need to. <laughs> we have six <laughs> note-takers on this call. <laughs> Six note-taking robots in one Zoom call. What could possibly go wrong? Actually, it was kind of fun, and I'm excited to see what sort of results we have here. So I have Otter Open. That's the one I'm the most familiar with, as you already know. And right off the bat, we have our summary. I love the way Otter does summaries. I have like a whole sentence here, some action items, and then there's an outline and then, of course, we have the word-for-word -word transcript as well. We did give the robots a little bit of an easier task because at the end, we discussed specifically what our action items are, which did involve starting our Riverside call and playing around with that because that's what we were doing next after our Zoom call. So for this particular Zoom session, we were just kind of shooting the breeze. We weren't really having an official meeting. We were just kind of talking. I'm going to use the Otter chat over here to ask, did anyone do anything crazy on the call? Let's see. Did anyone do anything crazy on the call? According to the meeting transcript, Karen mentioned that she heard Meredith did something completely crazy, but no details were provided about what that was. That is true. Let's ask, was anything mentioned about snow? Otter says, yes, according to the transcript, Karen said, okay, so Meredith just had to dig herself out of 40,000 feet of snow to get back into her house that had no electricity. Wow. Yeah, that is, that's a direct quote, word for word, um, that that the AI picked up on. So I'm gonna ask the other AI note-taking bots the same questions just to keep everything fair. So let's move on over here to Fireflies. This is interesting. It's giving me pretty much the same kind of overview, action items, outline. It does have a list of notes. Okay, that's interesting. And then the transcript is over here on the right hand side. What I found really neat over here is some actual data about the call. Like um, apparently I spoke 59% of the time and Karen only spoke 41. I have 147 words per minute and Karen has 152. So I don't know, that's just kind of interesting. These sentiments and these other AI filters there, I guess those are kind of maybe like keywords or something. Well, I do kind of like that breakdown that is kind of um interesting i don't know that i necessarily need that information about talk time but it is interesting so i'm going to ask fred the same question about did anyone do anything crazy on the call 
and see what Fred says. Yes, according to the transcript, Karen Wilson mentions that she did something completely crazy during the call. However, the details of what she did are not mentioned. Okay. Later, Meredith Marsh asks what Karen did, to which Karen responds that she doesn't know because it was her, Karen, who said it. Yes, Snow was mentioned several times. Oh, that's really interesting. Silent in Riverside, possibly due to the snow. I don't remember that being part of the conversation. So far, Otter and Fireflies are kind of feeling like a very similar experience here. So let's take a look at Fathom because Fathom was a little bit different in that it's not just an AI bot that like joins the call. It's actual software on the computer. I'm getting a summary, meeting purpose, test AI, note-taking assistance, key takeaways, topics. Oh, as you scroll, you're like scrubbing through the video. Oh, that's interesting. We do have this one highlight and a bookmark that I made. So the highlight lets you kind of like start basically recording a highlight of something and then stop on your own. And then a bookmark just places a bookmark at a certain spot. So I can search the transcript, but I don't see any way to interact is extract action items. What does that do? Okay. I just have one action item here. I just don't see any there's no bot or way for me to interact with the transcript or ask it a question. Let's take a look at Noda. Is it Noda or Nada? We have the transcript. Oh, it only gives us part of the transcript. Like the first three minutes and then you have to upgrade. Most of these other ones, I don't know about Otter because I already have a paid account with Otter. These other ones give you a free trial some of them even without having to put in any payment information it would be nice to get more than three minutes because how exactly am i supposed to really fully test this but let's see ai notes write something i don't want to write something general oh so okay nota won't even let me won't let me do anything without asking for my credit card information okay let's give up on that but it looks like instead of automatically giving a summary and action items and an outline. It waits for you to tell it what it wants. You could probably create your own template. So I kind of like that. If if that's what's happening, I kind of like that idea. So this one is rewatch. As expected, we have a recap. We have some action items that are actually in the form of a to-do list. I guess I could add in some manual notes. How about a transcript? course we have a transcript that's great we have the video over here is that it i guess that's it i feel like i started with the best ones first i don't see a chat bot i don't know there's not much to work with here let's look at bubbles so we have the video is big we have a timeline at the bottom bubbles note taker says i did not detect any action items from this meeting really bubbles we literally said, here are the action items. We do have a like a little summary. Okay. The one with the most fun name is the least fun, I think, out of all of them. Now, it might be a slightly biased since I've been using Otter for a long time. Like a couple of years, I've been a paying customer of Otter. And I do already know how to use it, but they're always... Um, creating new features and everything. So I don't even know that I'm using it to its full potential, but I do think that if I was stranded on a, an island, I would take Otter with me for sure if I had to choose any of these. I kind of had high hopes for Phantom because I do kind of like that it's an actual app on your computer and the highlight feature and the bookmark feature, especially on our group Zoom calls for Thriving Creator Society. There's a lot of questions that get asked. There's a lot of ideas um, that we talk about. And so I am often jotting things down that people mention and having that bookmark feature would be very handy. You can't upload a video. So it's only operational as a Zoom happening in the moment, which is kind of a bummer. Noda, I wish you made it easier to try this out because I kind of do like the idea of having a template library so that you can decide what sort of AI functions you want to have happen with the transcript. I'm not going to pay to try it out. All these other apps give me a free trial 
rewatch, no chat bot, not very much recap. And then Bubbles, I, I, I don't know what's happening with Bubbles. There is a chat bot, but it's not, uh, it's not chatting back with me. So shout out to Karen for helping me test these chat bots and being a little bit of a guinea pig as we dive down the rabbit hole of note taking AI. If there's one thing I know for sure about AI and AI note takers, it's that things are changing very fast and usually for the better. So I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, the AI note taking tools that I just outlined are quite a bit different and there might even be more options out there. So would you let me know by leaving a comment? Let me know which one you use. What's your favorite? What have you come across that is just blowing your mind, increasing your productivity and doing a really good job of AI note taking? Because anything that's going to speed up productivity is definitely something I want to know about so that I can share it with my audience. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button so other people can find it. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go because I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera so that you can build your thriving online business with YouTube.